Many of those who visited the tunnel told of strange lights, places where they felt a sudden chill, voices and dark figures. The most eerie vision in the tunnel is the Lady in White, which by its appearance terrifies everyone before whom it appears. The town of Picton is located in the MacArthur District, in New South Wales. Although this area was explored as early as 1798, the first settlements appeared here only in 1821. Picton came into existence when the Great Southern Road was built through the Razorback Range. At first this settlement was called Stanuri, and only in 1845 the town was renamed Picton. In 1867, the town started to grow when I was laid railway picton Mitigong. This railway track was a real masterpiece of design. The 180-meter-long Redbank Range Tunnel, the first of the New South Wales Railways, was also dug along this route. In 1919, this section of road was closed, as a new railway was built, which was better for transporting goods. During World War II, the Australian Air Force found good use for some railway tunnels, including the Picton Tunnel. Weapons and ammunition were stored in the tunnels. In 1950, when the tunnel was cleared of weapons, the Red Bank Range Railway Tunnel became known as Picton Mushroom, as it began to be used for commercial purposes, growing mushrooms. By the way, many closed tunnels are still used in this way today. A series of tragic events. On January 24, 1884, the dismembered and decapitated body of a man was found in the tunnel. The victim was not identified and was buried in an unmarked grave. Most likely, the man just got hit by a train. It will never be known whether it was an accident or suicide. Some people used the tunnel to take a shortcut and avoid climbing the hill. On December 13, 1916, Emily Agnes Ballard probably decided to take a shortcut when she went to visit relatives. But as she went deeper into the tunnel, she was hit by an oncoming train. The 51-year-old woman died on the spot. Some say that this is how she killed herself. No matter what her motives were, the woman's body hung on the front of the train after the impact, and it took her a long time, some say as far as Picton. Only after the train stopped, the body of the unfortunate woman was discovered and the corpse removed. On February 20, 1954, the body of scientist Olaf Perkman was found in a train carriage at Sydney Central Station. On March 2, Ronald Hall, a 24-year-old laborer, was charged with his murder. Later that month, on the 30th, Hull confessed to killing Perkman. Hull claimed that Perkman made an immoral offer and molested him, and when the train entered the Picton Tunnel, this was the second new tunnel built next to the old one, he shot Perkman in the head with a 22 caliber rifle. Hull also admitted to going through Perkman's pockets and stealing his money. Hull was found guilty of murder, and when the judge pronounced the death sentence, he said thank you. Legends also tell that a woman committed suicide in the tunnel, who hanged herself in it, and another woman was raped and killed there. The souls of all the dead people in the Picton Tunnel did not leave it. Paranormal Activity There is much evidence of paranormal activity in the tunnel. Strange lights flash in the tunnel, and some places of the tunnel there are segments where a person begins to feel a terrible cold, sometimes you can hear the sounds of a train passing by. It is said that the ghost of Emily Ballard still haunts the tunnel. Sometimes she looks like a 51-year-old woman, sometimes much younger. Black figures lurk in the depths of the tunnel. Those who manage to get particularly close to these figures, claim that before they could see them, they disappeared before their eyes. But the least fortunate were those who were not lucky enough to meet the lady in white. This spirit chooses one person from a group of tourists or those who have entered the tunnel without permission, and for a moment appears only to him. Chilling horror shackles these people, and sometimes they run screaming out of the tunnel. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of mysterious stories and photos. Check out this playlist and I'll see you in the next video.